Hello everyone, Mark Anson Audio here with a quick Reaper tutorial about how to add a little bit of swing and groove to a very boring MIDI programmed drum beat. Let's listen to the boring drum beat. Okay, very dull, very uninteresting. If I select all these notes and click on this Q icon on the toolbar or hit the Q key on my keyboard, whatever your shortcut is, you'll get the quantize events thing. It might look like this where it says use grid, where you click on this drop down menu, menu and select manual and you will get a few more options. Manual is where we want to be. This bit specifically, this drop down menu here, by default is set to straight. If we click on it, we can choose swing and you can see straight away that things have started moving around. If we set the swing strength to zero, it will have no effect. But as we swing it to the right, you will see some notes start to move to the right, some start to move to the left. So let's swing it to the right, hit play, have a quick listen. Okay, so you might be thinking that all the notes are moving, but they're not. If you actually look at some of these notes here, these kicks and snares, a lot of them are still on the original grid. It's mostly these hi-hats up here that are moving and this like this kick drum down here and this snare over here. So basically this algorithm, oh, we can bypass this to sort of see before and after. The algorithm here is basically identifying very key uh, beats, which are these kind of uh, beginning of these bars or these quarter divisions and, and leaving those where they are. They're important to the beat and, the, and making sure we stay on the metronome and whatnot. Whereas a lot of these hi-hats are there the, the algorithm detects them as incidental and they're for flavour and therefore can move them around and is happy to move them around to give things a bit of a groove. So you can see as I move things to the left, a few of the notes stay where they are and mostly hi-hats and a, uh, I think one kick and one snare beat move as well. So you can move it to the left to get a bit of a rushed feel. Or you can move things to the right, get a nice lazy shuffle feel. Cool. Now, or you can move things just a little bit, just a little bit to get things a little off the beat, a little bit less quantized, but still with your important notes where they need to be. So let's bypass this. So you can see very quickly, you can change the, uh, change out a very boring beat and make it a lot more interesting without completely destroying the important beats of your of your sequence. And we hope you find this tutorial uh, useful. If you did, please like, rate, and comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. My name is Mark Hanson Audio. Adios.